Hey YouTube, this is Eric. I'm going to be doing a review today on Beast Wars Optimus Primal. Uh, this is not the original release for Beast Wars Optimus Primal. Uh, this is the re-release. I think it was a Toys R Us exclusive that came with uh, Megatron. And it came with, um, I think it was, it's a different color. Uh, it doesn't have the silver painted down the back like I think the original does. Uh, it has a different head sculpt. Uh, I think even the gorilla's face is a little different. I'm not sure because uh, I never had the original. I uh, I got this in a Beast Wars lot when I ordered something off eBay. So, um, you know, I got him a while ago. He's a really good figure. Uh, I never really was a fan of Optimus Prime being a gorilla. For some reason, I'm just not a monkey person. I, I don't know. I just I don't like monkeys, especially gorillas. Uh, but... You know, having him in my hand, I kind of, I'm kind of changing my mind. He really is a really good figure, and uh, I'll go over some of the things about him. He has some really good molded-on uh, fur detailing. Uh, he he does have a butt. Um, yeah, there he he, he uh, even has a gorilla chest and everything underneath. This is really the only bit of robot kibble that you can uh, that you can see from his gorilla mode. And I guess you know, up in there you can see some stuff. But uh, overall, it is, it is a pretty good gorilla mode. Uh, his legs can extend, and he can kind of stand up like this. But, uh, you know, I don't think that's anatomically correct. It's more because of his transformation. Um, he does have a gimmick in this mode. I, have, I don't think I've ever done it. But you do something with this. I think, you, you know, I think it's broke online. But uh, he's supposed to be able to beat his chest. And it doesn't really work on mine. I haven't been able to do it. Let me see if I can get it now. All right, he's supposed to be able to beat his chest when you you move this around, but apparently it doesn't really work on mine. And I'm not sure how to get it to work. And I don't want to force it and break it. But uh, he's supposed to be able to beat on his chest like that. And you know, I guess it's something. I mean, it's something for play value. Uh, and I mean, this is about it for his robot mode. I don't really have anything to compare it to. Uh, as far as size goes, he is a pretty good size, and you'll see um, how this size translates when I transform him. So, getting on to the transformation. Well, also, I guess I could show him. Uh, you push this button right here, and... Uh, there, yeah, you have a gorilla with rocket launchers on his back, and it looks kind of screwy like this. But, you know, it's possible to do that. I think that's... Oops. I think that's best saved for the um, for the robot mode, though. All right, had a little bit of trouble getting this guy to stay in one piece. There we go. And the head on mine has a tendency to fall off, and his sword did come off. But anyway, let's move on to the transformation. But the transformation really is simple because I mean, you're turning a humanoid animal into a humanoid robot, so. Uh, Basically, what you want to do is stretch out his legs. Uh, for his feet, you flip them back. Now, I'm not really sure what the point of this is. I mean, you know, not really sure what they were trying to do. And I really like this because it has the uh, pistons that uh, come out when you pull the feet up and down, which is really good. I uh, turn this around, and it's really similar to his transformation on the television show. Uh, you take his robot a monkey head, you take it and you push the chin in and it flips around to kind of give him a chest plate and it just kind of snaps into place there. Uh, let me back him up a little bit and adjust the camera. Alright, uh, and that basically is it. These uh, turn into some shoulder pads. Which I'm guessing is just purely aesthetic. And that is uh, about it for his uh, robot mode. Kind of want to adjust his hands a little bit. Alright. So uh, that's him. This is the updated head. And is, you know, it is really true to the cartoon counterpart. Uh, I really do like this head sculpt. And it's on a ball joint. And he can look you know, all over the place. I really do like this. Uh, he doesn't come with the battle mask that a lot of the other original Beast Wars figures came with. Which uh, is far from a loss because the battle masks really sucked. Um, as far as gimmicks go, he he's loaded with them. Uh, one thing 
And if I can remember how to get it to happen, this arm turns into a gun. And, uh, yeah, he has missiles that you can put in here and, and fire, but, uh, I kind of, I, I put my missiles up because I don't really want to lose them. I'll lose that shit, you know, real quick. You can fold that back up. He has a mace, which I don't think we have, we never saw the mace on a TV show. If I can get this open. Alright, his little mace is in here. And you kind of pull it out of there and it'll fit in his hand. And the mace has a picture of a skull, and not really clear why Optimus Prime would have a skull on the end of a mace. I don't know, it's kind of weird. And uh, also, again, if you push this button, and both of them are supposed to come out. Oh, yeah, there you go. They, uh, the two rocket launchers pop out, and they look really good uh, in robot mode. It doesn't look as silly as it does in... Uh, you know, in the beast mode, but again, he 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 can't really see anything, and a lot of Transformers suffer that problem. They have stuff on their shoulders, but how in the hell can they see, you know, from the left to the right? It doesn't really make much sense. Also, uh, these swords are normally connected inside here like that, but they fall out as soon as you try to activate this gimmick. So he does have these swords, and you can fit one in each hand, or you can put both in the same hand kind of give him like a double sword so you can have the double sword going uh this action and a mace that he doesn't even have as well as this so, i mean this guy he is armed to the teeth to say he was a, a gorilla a little while ago and that you know he had no hint that he had all these weapons so you know in that respect he has a ton of play value uh, he he has a good display piece. He really and he has good articulation. Um, I don't think he well he does have some. He has these ball joints, but everything else is on uh, you know I don't want to say socket joints, but yeah, it is what it is. So he is a good figure. A lot of articulation. Um, really good character on Beast Wars. I mean, he's definitely my favorite Optimus Prime. Uh, and I know a lot of G1 fanboys are gonna get pissed off about it, but. I think he was the more interesting uh, Optimus Prime. Because, I mean, the G1 Optimus Prime was pretty two-dimensional, you know. But this guy, he did, he, he kind of took the mantle up, and he wasn't that great at it, but he made himself that great. So, you know, to end that rant, uh, you know, that's what I think about him. Uh, as for size comparison, he is uh, about ultra size. There he is with Human Alliance Jazz, and he he's bigger than Human Alliance Jazz, um... A lot less complicated to transform, you know, and a lot less details, but he is a pretty big guy. So, I highly recommend him. Not sure how much he'll cost you. Probably like $60. You know, you shouldn't you shouldn't pay any more than 60 bucks for him. Uh, I'd definitely go for this version, which has the, uh, the remolded head, because it really does make that much of a difference to me. And, uh, yeah, that's about it for this guy. I really like him. Highly recommend it. If you can get them for a pretty good price, I'd suggest it. Uh, so yeah, that's about it, YouTube. Peace.